Meantime, we now know three people were arrested during a demonstration on the Avenue Road Bridge this weekend. It's the first round of arrests since police banned protests on the overpass last week. For more on this story, let's go live to CP24's crime analyst Steve Ryan, who's on that bridge with more now. And Steve, it comes after some pretty strong words from Police Chief DemQ earlier this week. Yeah, that's right, B. The uh, police chief had made uh, it known that if uh, you were going to come to this overpass to demonstrate the overpass uh, on Avenue Road near the 401, um, that you were, could face charges and or arrest as well um, because of a couple of reasons. When the police facilitate any sort of uh, demonstrations, they have to weigh the rights of the demonstrators to demonstrate lawfully, and they have to weigh the rights of all the other uh, citizens in their city who aren't demonstrators. Do they feel safe? Do, is there perception that they don't feel safe? And do they have the right to move around unimpeded? So every time you have a demonstration, uh, the police facilitate and, and they observe. And oftentimes, if demonstrations go on over a period of time, what happens is sometimes they cross over into civil disobedience, breaching uh, municipal bylaws, provincial laws, and criminal laws. So what the police do is they will warn First, they educate. They'll educate the demonstrators as to this is the law, this is what is expected of you, and then they warn. And after the warning, they let, let it be known that if you continue to do this, you could face arrests. And then if that doesn't help, the last thing that the police do is announce that certain areas are off limits, and if you continue to go there, you will be arrested. And that's what happened yesterday. And when the police make that ultimatum, if you will, they have to act on it, B, and that's because it's their word. And if their word is not credible, well, then that's half the battle lost when it comes to effective policing. Your word, credible, is very effective in policing, and getting people to move because people will understand that if you do not do what is being demanded of you, you could face the consequences. And that's what happened yesterday on the Avenue Road bridge here. Chief Demke said that that is off limits because of safety concerns. It's not a very wide place. People could fall over. Things could be dropped over the edges as well. Flags, uh, placards, any sort of uh, other objects. And if there's a dispute between groups, somebody could accidentally fall over and onto the 401. And that part of the 401 is very, very busy. So as a result of uh, community safety being paramount and as a result of people testing the police resolve by showing up on this bridge when they were told not to three people were arrested one person is facing a mischief charge most likely because and this comes from me not from the police most likely because they were blocking a sidewalk and when you do that you prevent people from using that property when they have a lawful right to use it and two other people were charged with obstruct police most likely because from the video that i saw when the police were going to effect an arrest those two people that may have been charged may not have gotten out of the way when asked by the police, may have impeded the police from executing uh, their lawful duties. And this is why there's three people facing charges now. Cops are all around here again today. If anybody else comes onto this bridge and challenges the word of the police, most likely see more arrests as well. I send it back to you. Yeah, interesting to see if they back off after these three arrests were made. CP24's crime analyst Steve Ryan reporting live this afternoon. Steve, thank you.